Hello everybody to the next Asian Cup update. Again, I'm not wearing an Asian Cup shirt, but you know, uh, as the, I will say in the Premier League video that I'm about to do after this one. It was a good day for Liverpool, I think, so wearing the red shirt. And red is anyway a fitting color. Many teams at the Asian Cup wear red. Um, but there was only one team that wears a little bit of red that was actually winning today, um, which was Iran against Vietnam. Um, was actually the dominance of Iran uh, was well on display. First goal was a nice team goal by uh, Sardar Azmoun. Uh, long pass uh, forward, little dribble, nice pass into the box, and then across the. Um, Goal mouth and nicely head, headed in. Uh, maybe because of the finish, maybe not the previous goal that you would send out, but it was a really in the the way it was played, a really nice team goal. And I think Iran always had a good control of, of the game and only made it then again the third one made it 2 0. Uh, thereafter, I think it was a deflection in there. The goalkeeper couldn't get two, although I might get now my games mixed up. I watched. The past hour, I watched so many highlights. We were out today, and uh, for that reason, I uh, barely saw any, any soccer today live, and I just immersed myself in highlights. In any case, Iran safe to nil win. Vietnam had maybe one uh, nice chance. Um, Vietnam was playing. They have actually nice red jerseys with a slight patterning on there, so uh, that was nice to see. The other game in the group was uh, Yemen against Iraq, which took a very similar turn as, yes, and the goal I was describing was actually in the Iraq game. Very similar to the Australia game yesterday, uh, where within 20, 20 minutes Iraq had a um, 2-0 lead. Mohamed Al-Kadim, wonderful goal. Uh, he had the ball, he was running at the edge of the box, uh, dribbling past uh, five defenders and then just unleashing a nice shot into the corner. High corner, roof of the net, really nicely done. And the second one uh, right, right there after by uh, Pasha Rezen was a little bit unlucky for Yemen. Um, it took a wicked deflection, went on the inside of the post, and in it looked actually, if this was intended, it would have been a really nice goal, but with the deflection, yeah. Deflections often make goals look much more nicer, and then just in uh, stoppage time, they added a third one to run away three, uh, three nil winners. Um, so now in the table, Iran, thanks to the huge win against Yemen, um, are now in first place equal points, both six with Iraq, so I think both uh, both teams are safely through to the next round. Both have plus minus two goals, um, so uh, it will be very, very interesting. Vietnam and Yemen, of course, are on the uh, bottom of the table. I'm just looking at this uh, table here. It doesn't look that great. Let me look at this one. I think this might be... A Again, ah, there's something wrong. I think Iran has a 5 nil and a 2 nil win. Um, and Iraq maybe has 2 3 nil wins, something like that. Anyway, both teams really um, are the strongest teams in that group. Uh, the other game then was from Group E between Lebanon and Saudi Arabia. Lebanon, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, Lebanon already uh, losing the first game to Qatar, uh, where Saudi so Arabia had an easy win over North Korea. It was clear who's going to be the favorite in that one, Saudi Arabia, and again, uh, was they, there was a really nice goal for Saudi Arabia to start the game at the 12th minute by Faha al muwallad Really, really beautiful half volley shot. Um, and Saudi Arabia continued to dominate against Le Lebanon and made it to nil. Uh, Hussan al mugabi also a nice goal. Um, I think it was more, it was really many nice goals scored today, uh, which provided the excitement as it, um, there was not really much in terms of results that was exciting. I mean, it was all favorites winning and Saudi Arabia is also through to the next round. Uh, Lebanon will have, will play for a shot against North Korea, but I already said that I think both teams uh, won't really 
have big chances. Well, that was my few cents from the Asian Cup. It was nice to see that in the Iran game there were a little bit more spectators also for Saudi Arabia. For Saudi Arabia, I also want to mention, uh, probably should be in a dress review, but I really like the new crest. Um, much better than what they had before with just the palm tree. The falcon that turns into a palm tree and there's a soccer ball in there as well. I think that's a nice one. Uh, the nicest jersey for today, I think Iraq, uh, the green looked okay, but it's still a little bit too straight. I think the Vietnam, the pattern in there makes it a little bit more interesting. Again, those are my two cents for the Asian Cup for today. Let me know if you saw any games and what you thought of these. Um, this, strictly my observations um, give me a thumbs up if you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these and I will talk to you soon bye hey there I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too also please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel all things my soccer universe and with that I want to wish you a wonderful day